In this video, we'll look at taking a surface from AutoCAD and importing that into as a terrain model into HECRAS. So the first thing, um, as described in the other videos, to make sure your surface is on state plane coordinates or grid coordinates and that it's at uh, FEMA established datum as far as the elevations go. Once all that's taken care of, go into tool space on surfaces, right click on the surface and export to DEM. Select a file location for the surface uh, and we'll call this Virgin River um, Effective. And then uh, make sure it's on the right coordinates and then make sure you don't have too small of a grid spacing. Ten, a 10 grid spacing will be sufficient for the detail you need in your model. One will just make it very detailed but it also makes it very time consuming to process. So with that I'll go ahead and click OK and it'll take just a minute so I'll pause. Alright, it's just about done processing here <coughs> and bringing that into HECRAS is to uh, convert that GeoTIFF into something that HECRAS can process. So we'll use a program called Saga to do that. Let's see empty here and then over here under tools we got um, in the tool library we will c expand the import export and if I remember right the GDAL slash OGR and then import raster right here and so then over in the properties on, on settings uh, it asks what file we want to import if we navigate to can get to the freaking file there we go okay and then just click execute and down here execute tool tool execute ex execution succeeded so then we can go to the data and actually look at this sucker so it looks uh, looks like we got something in there. Now one of the problems I was having in HECRAS, um, you may or may not have the same problem, but when I was bringing it in, it was coming in at like really high elevations compared to uh, what my actual data was. So if we look here in the settings, uh, it's got a Z offset of 2622.3. And uh, that was a problem. So if we change that to zero and save, then um, when we export it, it will um, it'll be at the right elevations. So then, if we uh, go back and export, there it is under grids. Export Esri Arc Info Grid. If we select the file and change this to binary, we can go ahead and execute that one. That was succeeded. Now we should be done in Saga. So if we go back to, let's see here, let's go to that location that created several files in here let's see so it created three files a float file, FLT, HDR file, and a PRJ file this PRJ HDR file we're going to need to open up and um, edit
so that HECRAS can process it. We need nine spaces right here on this top line and then just make sure everything up line everything else lines up. On no value, no data value, change that to minus nine 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 nine. And then the last uh, line we need to add in the byte order LBS first is the last uh, thing to put in there. Last thing we need to do to edit, and then we save that, and we go and right click on terrains and click on create a new terrain. And if we go to the file, uh, Virgin River Effective, that's the one we just created. Uh, this is the new project. This is the new uh, HECRAS project file, but that's not the one we want. We want the the one for the terrain. Here we need to select the the float file and then click create. 